This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. The top-ranked Kentucky Wildcats got quite the test from Boston University last night before pulling away for the 20-point win. A cold shooting night for Kentucky, just 3 of 15 from behind the arc. Scala BC Air played well, though, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 3 blocks. But John Calipari said afterwards his team still has a long way to go before it reaches its potential. Scal did some good stuff. You know, he's, he's coming, but he's still, you know, got some things he's got to do. Um, and uh, again, we got to make some threes. And right now, Tyler's not making them. I just told him, you got to shoot them. You got to let it go. The Belfry girls are next in our round ball preview series. The Lady Pirates captured their third straight district championship last season and advanced to the 15th region semifinals for the first time since winning the region title in 2010. Despite having a roster full of freshmen and sophomores, the players feel they have just as good a shot as anyone to win the title this season. I think it's just playing till the buzzer goes off. I think we kind of, you know, at times gave up when the score would, you know, they go up on us. I think it's really just playing until the game is over, you know, just not stopping and keeping it going until the buzzer goes off. We're going to be very competitive this year, more than any other year, because we're in it to win it this year, more than we have been. And other than us being young, we, we're all very competitive and ready for the season. We got to compete. We got to compete every day in practice against each other. When it comes game time, we just got to work hard. And seeing that we can, you know, push through that and that it wasn't impossible to make it to region and stuff, it gave us that confidence that we can do it. And I think the fact that we lost and we were so close in the second round, it pushes us this year just to get that much further than what we did last year. I think that we can go farther than we did last year. I think that we have a good chance this year, even though we are young and we're kind of small, that's kind of also, you know, to our advantage, but I think we'll do good. Uh, this team is, is uh, very fast, athletic, uh, can run, can play. Uh, they shoot the ball a whole lot better than what I've been used to. Um, and it's okay to be under the radar. I'm okay with that. You know, people don't, you know, expect much from you, you know, but we expect it from ourselves within practice. Six coverage area football teams remaining in the high school football state playoffs, one of which is Johnson Central. The Golden Eagles beat Scott last week to win their first region championship since 2006 and will be on the road again this week for the state semis when they visit Wayne County. Head coach Jim Matney sees a lot of similarities between the two programs. I think they're very similar to us. I, I think that uh, the the plays they run, what they try to do defensively, offensively, I think they're very similar. And uh, they have a very nice team. Uh, I think you're, you're going to see a lot of battles between us and them over the next several years. Um, you know, they kind of have a young team. We kind of have a young team. Time now to name our player of the week from the region final round of the high school football playoffs. Pikeville running back Derek Pugh continued his dominance over Hazard last week, running for 191 yards on 13 carries. He also scored three rushing touchdowns in the 50-6 win. In four career games versus the Bulldogs, Pugh has 15 rushing touchdowns. 